Hello. In this session, we will demonstrate how an application owner uses ServiceNow within Teams to quickly resolve an issue using Virtual Agent, Service Operation Workspace, and Major Incident Management. Here is Joe. Joe works for a global fast food company. They sell burgers, fries, ice cream, and more. Year over year, ice cream sales have gone down because their outdated machines are constantly breaking. As a result, management has invested in new machines to digitize the customer experience by allowing them to pre-order using a mobile app for pickup. Joe is an operation manager who is overseeing this new initiative. One day, he got calls from store owners that no one can place an order. Joe needs the VPN to check the server, but unfortunately, his VPN isn't working. Joe uses Virtual Agent on Teams to resolve his VPN issue, but the suggestions were not helpful. So he makes a request to speak to a live agent. The next available agent is Beth, who only speaks Spanish. Beth quickly learns this incident should be a P1. Due to the severity of Joe's incident, Beth escalates to David, who is a major incident manager. David will promote the incident, create a war room, and invite on-call technicians using Teams to resolve the issue quickly. Now let's see this in action. Here is Joe, and Joe will go to virtual agent named Alfred. He's going to start a new conversation. And since uh, I know the topic, I'm going to select VPN connectivity. And the bot is going to ask a series of questions. Provide a solution, which I'll say it was not helpful. It will look up a KB article, which I can uh, click here. And it's going to service the KB article all within Teams and did not resolve my issue. And I want Alfred to open up an IT ticket. Great. Now um, I have an incident. I can go here, open the incident. But you notice something. The urgency is low, and I need to get this resolved now. So Joe is going to talk to Alfred again, but this time I want to talk to a live agent. Notice that Alfred will also surface the incident, outstanding incident uh, for you as a greeting. So before I talk to a live, ask for a live agent, I'm going to bring in the live agent. So here's Beth, and as you can see, Beth, everything is in Spanish. And Beth is going to go to her service operation workspace. And she's going to go online. So now Joe is going to either, I can say, live agent or support, or I can just type, type in, I need to speak to an agent. Alfred will, will understand that and ask, do you want to talk to an agent? Yes, I do. Now, Alfred has, has asked Beth or whoever is available um, to pick up this conversation. So Beth gets prompted. She accepts. Great. And now they're both in his conversation. Here, um, Joe can say, hi, Beth. And within a few seconds, this English gets translated to Spanish. Okay, 
So now Beth will need to respond back to Joe. But in order for me to do that, I need to say something in Spanish. So I'm going to use Google Translate. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here in Spanish. I'm going to go back to Alfred and respond. Within a few seconds, as you can see, it gets translated back to English. Now Beth needs to escalate this, um, this incident. So she's going to transfer this conversation to uh, David, who is another agent. So let's bring in David. So let's bring in David. So here's David. Again, David is going to use service operation workspace. David is going to go online. And Beth will use a quick action here and say transfer to an agent. The next available agent is David. So click David. David gets prompted to join the conversation. He does. Now they're all in the same conversation. Beth can leave now. Let me bring in David. Oop. Let me bring in David. So now David can see the conversation. And since he's in, he speaks English, he can see everything in English. It gets translated back to English. And here we can see that Joe, uh, some information about the requester. So there's an open record here, and, and David can look at it. You can see that we can go to the incident, and this is the incident that we want to promote as a major incident. So he's going to get that and go to the record itself. So now he's in the incident record, and he's going to promote this as a major incident. So now the incident is a major incident. And here we can go to View Workbench. And this is where you can create a, a war room. We'll click Collaborate. Click Add. Create a new communication plan. Let's call this Ice Cream Server Reboot. Instead of a chat, I want to create a conference because I want to create a war room. And I'm going to initiate it. So before I initiate it, so let me remove Joe. I'm going to bring in an engineer. So the engineer is on his mobile device, and we're going to call him. Hit initiate. I'm going to call Dwight, the engineer. start so now David gets prompted he joins I mean, actually Dwight get joins and I'm going to join too great now David and uh, Dwight are now in the meeting uh, to resolve the issue. So that was a quick demo on how an operation manager, global help desk, IT operator, and technician collaborating all within teams to quickly resolve an issue no matter where they are, what language barrier, and on what device. I hope you found this helpful.